Hello and welcome. You're watching Gravitas Plus. I am Molly Gambhir. India's aviation sector seems to be booming. There is a lot to look forward to. A record number of aircraft are being ordered. India's flag carrier Air India has been privatized. It is also on a hiring spree. Pilots have been offered handsome salaries. Direct international air connectivity has increased. Prime Minister Modi launched the Oran scheme. More airports are being inaugurated. And the number of frequent flyers has gone up. Simply put, things are looking up for the aviation sector. Let's begin with India's expanding airlines. Air India recently unveiled deals for 470 jets. This includes 220 planes from Boeing and 250 from Airbus. Boeing will supply 190 737 MAX, 20 787 Dreamliners, and 10 Mini Jumbo 777X. The Airbus order includes 210 A320 Neo narrow body planes, along with 40 A350 wide body aircraft. These will be used to fly ultra long routes. And that's not all. Another 25 Airbus jets will be leased. The overall acquisition reaches 495 jets. Following the deal, Boeing shares rose 1.3%. Airbus rose 0.3%. Air India's order has set an industry record. But it might be broken soon. By whom? By India's budget airline giant, Indigo. It is in talks with Boeing and its current supplier, Airbus. It plans to buy more than 500 passenger jets, potentially beating its domestic rival. Until now, Indigo has exclusively bought narrow body jets from Airbus, but now it is considering mid-sized wide body jets as well. Go first is to receive 72 planes. Akasa Air is to get 56 and Vistara is to take 17 aircraft. All Indian airlines combined have ordered over 1,100 aircraft. This outnumbers the current 700 commercial planes that India has. What would India's fleet look like in the coming years? And how does it compare with the other countries? Let's break it down for you. The US and Canada are projected to acquire 10,810 passenger planes by 2040. China would have 9,630. Europe comes third with an estimate of 9,360 planes. It is followed by Southeast Asia, which is projected to own 4,500 aircraft. Meanwhile, West Asia is on track to have 3,400. The number of aircraft looks promising. The same goes for airports. Airports in India have almost doubled in the last decade. At present, there are 147 operational airports. Nine years ago, there were only 74. One was inaugurated in Karnataka only two weeks ago. The Shivamogga airport was built at a cost of $5.48 million. It can handle at least 300 passengers every hour. This comes as a part of the Oran scheme, India's ambitious plan to boost regional air connectivity. 31 new airports are to be built under the scheme. Officials are planning to include 21 more. India's airport capacity is expected to handle 1 billion trips annually. India is now looking at a 10% increase in the number of flyers. 2022 had seen 123 million domestic flyers. The number was 84 million in 2021 and 63 million in 2020. A country's flag carrier is a crucial part of its soft power. But India was lagging behind. There was bad press around Air India. From broken seats to bad attendant services, flyers were not satisfied with the quality. An international flyer would choose an Emirate or an Etihad plane any day. And why is that? Because of the quality of services that they provide. For comfortable flying, could Indian Airlines foray in that domain? Air India is trying its best. The airline was once a symbol of national pride in India. But the rise of private, low-cost carriers in the 2000s was a major reason for its downfall. 
Tata bought it from the government for $2.2 billion. Last year, it announced the merger of Air India and Vistara. The enlarged Air India group now has Air India, Vistara, Air Asia India and Air India Express. All the airlines are targeted to be merged by March 2024. And after announcing the aircraft order, Air India has been on a hiring spree across ranks and roles. It is looking for B777 captains. They will take home up to 2 crore rupees annually. That is over $244,000. In 2022, Indian aviation made up for 5% of the GDP. It amounted to $72 billion. The sector created a total of 4 million jobs. 200,000 more jobs are up for grabs now. It is a very interesting time for India's aviation sector. The aircraft fleet is expanding. Big mergers are on the cards. The government is focusing on regional connectivity and lowering flight costs. There will be more airports, more jobs and more revenue. The Indian aviation sector looks set to soar to new heights.